He is out there to remove people's rights. That's the real danger, and we don't know where it's gonna end. Chris Matthews continued then to fear monger about Trump and Tulsi, well, she did not have any of it. There needs to be some form of punishment. That's how he started his discussion but of abortion. But the thing about him. And he, and, and he went out ahead, and he put those three judges on the Supreme Court, and he got rid of Roe v. Wade. He did that, your rights are gone. The, the targeting of political opponents has actually occurred under the Biden administration. Whereas when you go back and look under the Trump administration, we didn't see this kind of attack. Yeah, she's just good and calm and right and true. And again, she was the last Democrat on the primary side running against Joe Biden. Think what a different situation we would be in right now. Had Joe Biden or whoever was running the show for him then, because I don't even think it was him then, been like, you know what, instead of Kamala polling at zero in her own party, who nobody likes, who's basically an idiot, and, and really nobody can defend her, we'll have more on her in a moment too, uh, if we go with Tulsi Gabbard, a more moderate Dem, not a woke nutbag, someone that clearly loves America, and again, oh, he's be, he's, he's, fact, I think he's better than he's ever been. <laughs> this in that they are in a cult. Bill Maher's a heretic, even though he's like, he's very much a liberal. He's a heretic because he says- Because every once in a while, he'll tell the truth. A lot of times yeah. he, he hates Donald Trump. But I think I couldn't figure it out on the pocket. Like he wouldn't even like have a rational discussion as to why he hates like, him. Joe Rogan recently sat down with Jimmy though the discuss about the debate and it is important. We take an exclusive look into what actually went on. Um, there is something black voters have realized y'all just tell me who the nominee is gonna be let me know when you guys are finished fighting amongst yourselves who i gotta vote for in november to keep hitler out the white house that's all i want to know who i gotta vote for to keep hitler out the white house y'all do your thing play in traffic all you want in front of these republicans acting a fool in front of these people instead of privately declaring your stuff but don't text me no more because i'm not taking no more of these texts just let me know when you guys are finished figuring it out, Democrats, because I know y'all the freak out people. Go ahead and freak out, have your conversation, and then let me know who I got to vote for to keep Hitler out the White House. That's it. I'm done. Oh, and by the way, if it's Biden in a coma, I'm going to vote for Biden in a coma. I don't even really particularly like the guy. I According to Black Consecutive, he sent this out on X. Black Libra accuses Democrat of rigging the elections for Biden, but will vote for him anyway to preserve democracy. A message to my friends in the Democratic Party, stop effing gaslighting us. That is what they've realized. And we all saw what happened during the primary. The Democrats never had that because they were scared that someone would just rise up and take him away from Joe. So the only thing we could do is to dictate to our people. That is exactly what is going on. Now, people still standing up to say, I will vote for him. It is something I don't understand. It is crazy to know the truth and you don't want to accept it, you continue to do the same thing. Therefore means you don't want to change. You realize who they are. Then why don't you continue you know, to advocate for them? That is a question I'm asking. Gigantic dragon gonna burn up the whole country and they send out a Walmart greeter to fight dragon. And we're not supposed to have any concerns. Sure. So my thing to Democrats is this. Instead of scolding belittling us and calling us out come to terms with the reality and the reality is that the democratic establishment brought someone to this dance who might break his hip and if that's who we got to vote for fine if that's the only way to preserve bodily autonomy to preserve voting rights to preserve democracy fine but get this ready and get off our backs about it because the establishment chose this candidate in 2020, and they chose him again in 2024. They had opportunities to open this up to a primary for different voices or to rotate somebody else in, and they said no. Maybe they did it because they believe that Joe Biden is the only guy who could possibly beat Donald Trump. I don't know enough about it to know whether or not that's true or not. Mm -hmm. But what I do know is I'm not going to act like I don't have eyes and ears sure. For the Democratic Party. Yes, the questions I'm asking myself, 
If I realize that someone is not competent to do the job, why should I even continue to advocate for that person? This man is speaking sense, you know, based on who he support, he has realized, he knows who Biden is. They rejected the primary because they wanted Biden to be there. Now taking a look at the situation, he has actually even destroyed the Democratic Party based on what I've observed. And you all know what is going on right now. Joe Rogan sat down on this interview where they talk a lot. I know that's why this whole this rehabilitation, it's all because of Trump derangement syndrome, that they have to pretend like Joe Biden, some kind of guy with integrity and yeah. dignity instead of, you know, the horrible criminal anti-worker guy that he's been his whole life. He's been anti-student, anti-worker, and he, he crushed a goddamn railroad strike. And everybody just memory holds that, that that happened. Like, he, if, if Trump did that, they would it would be on billboards forever. And uh, I, again, it, it's... What, what, Joe, why do you think that these, because my whole life, the establishment loved Donald Trump, right? Well, because the only option is if you don't go with Biden, then you're not with the Democrats. And the Democrats view themselves as a team. They view themselves as a team as much as patriots think of America first. So like that team is Democrats first. And that's the only representation they have right now. Like, apparently, now I don't know if this is true, but someone was telling, were you telling me about this, Jamie? About the live streaming of, uh, was it you? Or was it someone else? Of uh, Rob Reiner and all these people. Oh, they were crap earlier too. Like, I'll find the story I want to hear. They were all live streaming the debate and freaking out. <laughs> Barbara Streisand's crying. Ah! <laughs> these people are deranged. These people are no different than the Manson family in that they are in a cult. Yeah. They're locked into this ideology. It's not as bad as the Manson family, but it's clearly a, a cult. It's an ideological cult where you're not willing to go against any of the doctrines of the cult. And one of the you're not allowed to. You're not right. allowed to have you have to practice groupthink and that's Yeah. It. And Bill Maher's a heretic, even though he's like he's very much a liberal. He's a heretic because he says Because every once in a while he'll tell the truth. A lot of times. Yeah. He just he's not as like informed he's, as I'd like him to be about some of the stuff, <laughs> like MK Ultra, the W yeah. Ukraine. Well, I don't know what he knows about Ukraine, but he hates Donald Trump. I think I couldn't figure it out on the pocket. Like, he wouldn't even like have a rational discussion as to why he hates him. <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah. But the thing he, I found out that he was sued by Donald Trump. Yes. Yeah, so that's that, that was, was probably it. Because when he said that, Donald. Yes. The way for that to call Albi Maha. We know what he has been doing. He is struggling to play on both sides, and I'm glad Joe Rogan realized this with Jimmy Ball. Recently, we saw his reaction, you know, pertaining to the, the, the debate. He has been advocating for Gavin Newsom, like Biden should be replaced by him, which to me is still insane because Gavin Newsom, if left to compete with Trump, Trump will still beat him hands down. It is someone we all know, right? Please subscribe, turn on your notifications. It would do you no bad if you share out the video. And I say good for you. That's what you get for fucking lying. They, they've all lied. You know, the, you know, I think the media took just as big a hit as Joe Biden did that night. Yeah. Because now, I mean, just a few weeks ago, there's that Joe Scarborough.